Deva Sharma was a Brahmin who lived in a town called Devakota. It was the custom among prosperous families to invite Brahmins on festive days for a feast and then give them gifts. Sometimes grain, sometimes a goat or a cow. Once Deva Sharma was invited during the festival of Mahasakranti for a feast. After the festivities and the feast were over, he was presented a pot full of barley. Deva Sharma came back happily carrying the pot. The journey to his village was long. In the heat, carrying the heavy pot of barley, it was very tedious. He put the pot in his hut carefully. He was so tired with the long walk carrying the pot in the heat that he stretched out on a mat near the pot and fell asleep and he began dreaming. Big dreams. He dreamt that he was selling the pot of barley in the market and got 10 cowries for it. Then he was buying more earthenware and selling them. He was getting richer with each new dream. The dreams got bigger and bigger. When the Brahmin had dreamt that he had sold the pots, then he collected new goods with the money he had earned. He would buy and sell the new goods and earn even more. Then he had become so rich that he was able to buy silk and dresses and then got richer day by day. He had a fabulous house and married four women. He would do nothing at all and have lots of servants and his four wives to look after him. Broken Dreams I will love the youngest and most beautiful one more than my other wives, he dreamt. They will be jealous of one another and will try to please me. They will want me to love each of them more. So each one will try to do something special to look after me. I shall be like a king, emperor. Wow! As he continued to dream, he thought, and I will expect them to look after me with lots of respect and courtesy. If they do not do that properly or if they neglect me in any way, I will beat them with a stick. When he fell asleep, there had been a stick lying close by. His hand fell on the stick and he picked it up to beat his imaginary wives. The stick hit the pot and broke it, spilling the barley. The Brahmin's dreams also broke. Taking counsel Therefore, sir, let us not imagine that Megavarna the Crow King will be more loyal to you than he has been to King Silverplume and the kingdom of Karpuradvipa, said the wise old vulture Durdarshi. I think you are right, Durdarshi, said the king, thinking over everything that he had heard. I had thought that if we left Megavarna in charge here of Karpuradvipa, he would be able to send us things from here to increase the prosperity of our kingdom. But that does not seem likely. He thought for a while and then asked the old vulture what would be the best thing to do at this stage. Sir, the monsoon will soon be here and with the heavy rains we shall be unable to fly south to our own kingdom, said Durdarshi. That is true, replied King Jewel Plume. We have to get back too. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.